Hi, I'm Dan Schuster, founder of the festival. So many ways to know festival. The festival is a quarter of a mile long, and it's made up of many, many aisles of booths. So if you actually walk the entire festival, you're getting a good day's walk. Lots of walking. If you have a week to do it, you probably won't get through the whole place. It's an experience because you are just surrounded by food, you're surrounded by people, and you're surrounded by color, excitement. The festival is probably the world's largest main street, I would say. It's just rows and rows of mom and pop operators living the American dream. I sent two kids to college. I sent two of them to graduate school. My son is a doctor, and it's because I was at the festival. And if it weren't for the festival, I don't know that I could have done that. My name is Sandy. Tony and Sandy Benanti. And we have the cigar shop. We brought the business here because we love the uniqueness of the mall. It feels as if it's a little town. We're quite proud of how this place has developed. And it's developed now from what I used to call a flea market into a marketplace. And as a result of that, we're going to be changing the name from the festival flea market to the festival marketplace. The festival has the kind of merchandise that takes it way beyond a flea market and it makes it a marketplace. So many ways to know festival. People selling every possible item from even including the kitchen sink here. I just bought hair care products. <laughs> Twelve golf balls for seven dollars. It's for my boyfriend. It's wonderful. This is a place where you're going to be surprised at every corner you turn at the types of things that you're going to find and the quality of the things that you're going to find. You'd be surprised how many name brand items there are. I bought a bracelet that I saw in the Neiman Marcus catalog. This is a Versace and uh, it was uh, less, just less than $200 and it's it, at least double if not more than double in the stores. Well, prices are one of the best around and these people shop and they know at the festival it's the best prices. Here we always get a discount price. You have to search around the apartment store. You will find something that you probably don't need, but you're going to want to buy. I always find something unusual to bring back home. What do you think of this? Don't think so. I don't always come for something in particular, but I always go home with something. I love it here. It's like, it's a treasure hunt. You have no idea what you're going to walk away with, but it's always something to lift my spirits. I love it here. Market Street is our newest and greatest offering to the public. It's a brand new farmer's market, 30,000 square feet. You're going to find fresh produce, uh, fresh meats, baked goods, find candies, fresh flowers and all sorts of merchandise. It's a terrific place. It's more enjoyable than when you go to the grocery store, it's like you're doing a chore, but here it's like going out for an adventure. Prices are very good and the people are excellent, very nice. And I enjoy shopping here. It's the place to be. You want to be where the people are. This is where the people are. What's nice is you have a flow of new people every day that have never been here before, so you have a selling opportunity to not only your clientele that you've been dealing with, but with new clientele every second of every day. We do such tremendous volume that we could afford to give better prices. A lot of people come here for several days at a time. It's often the first destination from an airport that people get off their plane and they come right here to the festival. They're coming here from New York and from Chicago. We have people from, from Canada. I have customers as far as Key Largo, Key West, and they come often. Thank God. <laughs> from Utah, from Illinois, from Connecticut, a lot of New Yorkers, they're coming no matter what. They need to come here, and this is one of the first places they come to. When they get off the plane, they say, we need our festival fix. We have buses that travel for hours throughout the state of Florida just to bring shoppers here. Our customers come from all over the world. We're here uh, visiting from Buffalo, New York. I live in Miami. I just recently moved to Weston, Florida. I try to make it here like several times a month and I just go crazy every time. There are two very important keys to the success of the festival. The first key to the success of the festival are the merchants. They are the ones who people come back to see time and time again. It's successful because I think you just build up a, a personal rapport with your customer. Vendors are uh, very accommodating and uh, 
we have a good uh, a good rapport with our customers and them with us. The service here is uh, very nice, very friendly. The vendors are very accommodating. When you walk by them, they say hi, how are you? It's nice. Another key to the success of the festival is advertising. We do a huge amount of it. We spend a lot of money. I'm proud to say that the festival probably has the best promotions department in South Florida, and we are always getting something new and someone new to come here that nobody would have ever thought of or no one would have ever imagined. I see a whole new population of people shopping at the festival. I see younger people here every day, more and more new faces. I see a lot more expansion. I see more merchants, more customers. Oh, it's a fun place to shop. Exactly. It's great gift buying. It's great buying for yourself. Uh, and it's a great place to just come and kind of hang out. I just love the festival. There's nothing you can't find here. So many ways to know that.